For this review, I'm drunk. I've been drinking martinis all night. And listen, I know this is a car show, but if you guys drink and drive, you're part of the problem and you deserve whatever happens to you. Ooh, he's drunk, drunk. 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 We're three martinis deep going on four. <laughs> Chevy Malibu Eco rental car. This is for people who hate driving, but who also only buy American cars. I mean, the Malibu used to be a performance car and a platform in which you drop 350 cubic inches of GM freedom. But now, now, now Malibus are rental cars. This is a car for people whose their, their favorite drink is Diet Coke, and their favorite TV is the show is The Big Bang Theory, and they have a job where they will work in the same building for the rest of their lives. Ooh, I drive a Malibu. Uh, let's talk about church. Will William Howard Taft was the second president to own a car, but he was too fat to drive it. Now I'm not sure what the car he owned was in 1909. I don't know. Who cares? But I imagine if we elect Chris Christie, this is going to be the first car the first family never gets to use. The Chevy Malibu was a car that was birthed from the rib of the Chevelle in the same year that gave us the Mustang, 1964. And from that creation came a car that endured the same way tofu endures. You can use it for pretty much anything. Kid on his way to college? We'll give him a Malibu. Retired money of three, retired mother of three on her way to a to the bus terminal to pick up her red-nosed grandson. Well, that's a Malibu. Number-crunching weirdo from the cubicle office looking for a quickie with the mistress behind Cigars International in Hamburg. Mm, Malibu. The car is a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Basically, this is a car is an English degree on four wheels. Whatever use it has relies entirely on the person who wheels it and their capacity for doing stuff. The Malibu is the car that that one friend drives. You know, the, the guy who thinks he can do voices for everybody? ever, but he doesn't have a Robert De Niro or a Michael Caine. His Christopher Walken is crap, and his Peter Griffin sounds like a guy from Boston getting kicked in the dick while his girlfriend changes the channel in the fourth quarter of the Pats game. Here's a general rule about impressions. Everyone has a Hank Hill, but no one has a good Hank Hill. I penetrate my girlfriend with tasty cake crumpets. I find the meaning of life hidden in the margins of her newly raspberry folds. The Malibu offers a sm it's a ride. It's a car. I suppose the best way to describing it is uncomplicated. The Malibu is a lot of things, but it isn't a Rolex on a stiff dick. Because this isn't going to give you a hard time. But it's still a place for a car in this market. I mean, the Malibu had to get it together. This isn't the 70s anymore. The base model of the Malibu offers the 2.5 liter four-cylinder from the Ecotec line. But you can also get a 2.0 liter four-cylinder with a turbo for some damn reason. Which gives you more power, but at the expense of the Malibu's big selling point. Or one of them anyway. It's fuel economy. I mean, all the Eco does is it, is it shuts off the engine like a golf cart. Ah, uh, could this be anything other than a rental car? I mean, it's a direct injection engine, so you'd think it'd be banging, but it's it's quieter than most types. I mean, direct injection engines have a sound, but we haven't nailed it down yet. This is because the Malibu managed to be pretty conservative with its fuel consumption, getting 25 miles per gallon city and 36 highway. And that is impressive for a car that makes almost 200 horsepower. 196 pounds. Bleh. 196 horsepower at 186 foot-pounds of torque. But with a cloud with a silver lining that's still a cloud. So you're not getting much more in the way of performance than what's advertised. Nothing more, nothing less. This isn't a car that's going to trick you into thinking that there's something extra beneath the hood that it has. It's a dependable daily driver and that's it. That's it. You're not going to be out racing Dominic and Letty on the mean streets of whatever Fast and the Furious movies are taking place right now. And for some people, this will be enough. It'll be okay. Not everybody is going to throw the hammer down and tear up the streets. Some people just want to drive their records and get away from the wife for a couple hours. I mean, that's what golf is. And that's an Adam Carolla joke, not mine. Others just like to shut out the rest of their days in their Malibus. You know those teachers who put in 12 to 14 hour days and just want to relax at home getting drunk like I am right now, but they still need to come up with a lesson plan for a unit on reading comprehension because you're being observed on Thursday and the administration is none too pleased, but they can't say why because you're average school administration is staffed by people who completely rank somewhere between Kel from Good Burger and Jake from State Farm, the teacher is going to keep on grinding because this job means something to her. And it still does in this age of standardized tests and over-medicated kids. It's a person that deserves a car that she can rely on. So shine on, you crazy Malibu. Maybe that teacher will get to visit your namesake when she retires. Okay, your average Malibu owner never wrapped his finger in toilet paper. 
<laughs> in the seventh grade and took a break from skills for adolescent class and shoved it up his ass in the empty bathroom to find out what it would be like to be butt raunched. And I can say all the bad things I want about this because this is a rental car. No owner to piss off. Uh, I wonder where the rev limiter is. This thing stay in first gear. Okay, it's in first gear. No one coming. Beans. All right, foot on the floor. <laughs> there it is. Six point there. There's where it hits. <laughs> six thousand. Mm, six thousand six, 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 six thousand seven is where it hits the red limber. But it doesn't bounce. It just went up and went. Mm. Yeah, it, it, because there's no there's no mechanical connection between the accelerator and the throttle. Oh, so it the, just the holds it there. The computer just goes, no, I got it from here. Yeah. You know what you do? You take British bum liquor and then mix it with Italian hobo wine and then. <laughs> pour it over Mediterranean tree balls. And you know what you get? You get a drink for sophisticated Americans. You know what the Malibu is? It's a car for your dad to yell the N-word in. Chevy Malibu. <laughs> it's the car for eating super chunky Jif straight out of the jar with a butter knife while you cram farts into your easy chair while watching the Weather Channel. Oh, the barometer's dropping. Uh, and then later, your dad comes up and is like, your mother needs, your mother says we have to burn that chair. <laughs> Seriously, my dad once, he farted a chair up so bad, we had to take it out to the burn pile and, and pour lawnmower gasoline on it and burn it. It got so bad. Um, but this is a car for rental fleets. It, this is a car that's really hard to mess up. I mean, thank you, GM, for trying to stick with the modern era with putting four cylinders in American cars. I mean, every single dad who's going to drive this is like, this drives so well, I can't believe it's a four cylinder, because they grew up in an age where it was either V8 or V6. You know, V8 if you're a man, V6 if you're the girlfriend. But now everything's four cylinder, and four cylinders fine that's what this car is it's fine dear martinis i love you a lot drugs go here